Hi friends, host Eric here. I was talking with famous people and what I want to talk about is understanding Kato, me, Taylor, and other ENTPs as a starting point for explaining this um, this subtyping system that I've developed or I'm in the process of developing and what I think is a better explanation for how cognitive functions work. So basically, the thing is, the basic principle is that you can understand a person's identity and cognition as levels of framework so in other words everything has to be consistent with the top level framework or you're going to reject it but your top level framework is going to be very um open in other words it's going to it's going to be an ecosystem not a not a set of rules or something it's just that your other manners of attention all manners of attention including the manner of attention specific to that ecosystem so ne as a meta framework has its own meta framework that is not ne metaphysical or any physical it's because it's my dominant function it means that that's the limits of my aquarium everything that goes into my aquarium has to be consistent with my meta framework which is the ecosystem is friendly to potentiality so it can be you can be friendly to potentialities in lots of different ways potentiality making and understanding novelty and the possibilities of a given a set of of momentary or a given status of the moment the potentialities to work off of that in different ways right that can be facilitated in lots and lots of different ways so the simple the, the top level framework is not very restricting an ENTP with a top level priority of maintaining a potentiality friendly environment can allow for lots of potentiality crushing manners of attention in the moment provided the manner of a of reaching that potentiality crushing decision that manner isn't itself potentiality crushing then the ecosystem's very open and inviting to lots of different kinds of manners of attention the only kinds of manners of attention our as an ENTP or an ENFP that we are fundamentally uncomfortable with <laughs> Steve, you need to mute yourself before I boot your fucking ass. That's not, um, that's Steve. Yeah, that's Steve. Good. I can I can tell the Europeanness of his laugh. Anyway, um, it's not me. What? Well, hmm? Who is it what? then? Uh, continue. Go ahead. It's it's fine. Fine. Whatever. Um. So okay. Now, once we've established that NE itself, not any sub kind of NE, but just NE in general, forms the absolute boundaries of our of our aquarium, now we can put that aside. Remember that everything's got to be consistent with that. But now we talk about the NE as a dominant function. For me, I prioritize, it's not prioritizing, it's you have two aspects of NE. You've got the aspect of NE that is metaphysical action in the metaphysical realm, which means that it needs to be all about things that are time objects that work in conditionality webs, namely things that you can go, there are ideas that, uh, that have, that are, are entities without physical reality. Okay. ENFPs, they'll be creative entities. I, ENFPs, they'll be, uh, they'll be logical entities. Regardless, they're entities that work in the conditionality world well. In other words, we want to be able to say, Oh, if I add this color, it'll look like that. But then, oh, never mind. Undo. I want to change it and have this color. ENFPs love the undoiness of digital media because, like ENTPs, we don't like having our explorations be commissions of action. In other words, we don't want our shit to instantiate stuff in the physical world, only in the metaphysical world. But here's the deal. That's if we have these if we have these two possible aspects of NE. The metaphysical aspect of it says I like potentialities to stay conditional as long as possible. I like as much flexibility in going backwards and forwards in time as possible. The physical aspect of NE says I like to and prioritizes the absolute value use of NE in the moment, uh, in particular, around uh, the use of NE upon my immediate environment and the physical world. I like to say, oh, I could, I could 
nail that stick onto this thing, blah, 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 and make it cool, blah, 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 and then use that for blah, blah, blah. I like shit to be linked and related to the physical world in that capacity. If that's my absolute value, then the metaphysical aspect of any is going to be instrumental. What that will mean is um, I will use conditionality and the forward-backwards ways of time in order to facilitate and make manifest the the physical any, namely the the the, the rendering of possibilities into causal realities instead of conditional possibilities. Okay, so having said that, now my position is I go absolute NE metaphysical, instrumental NE physical. And then I go absolute TI physical and and I go instrumental TI metaphysical. And that plays out because TI is the most metaphysical of the functions. It Its physical reality is to say I care about TI in the moment, but I don't care about it over time. The metaphysical reality of TI is I care about it over time, and the moment is instrumental to that. Um, it's necessary for me to care. The, the over time part is instrumental for me. It's necessary for me to be consistent over time because I'm constantly having to use SI reference points because that's my epistemology. And that means other people will... It, that will hinder my ability to be TI consistent in the moment if I'm TI inconsistent over time too much. But I don't actually care about being TI inconsistent over time. I just know I need to attend to that to serve my absolute value being TI consistent, being able to continue being TI consistent in the moment and being able to note off these TI experiences. Because <clears throat> for me, since the absolute value of NE is metaphysical, then I prefer to keep things in conditionality as a state of being. That means, for because that's a frame that's higher than the TI frame for me, the physical manifestation of TI, preferring them in the moment, is consistent, is more consistent with the metaphysical aspect of NE than the metaphysical aspect of TI would be consistent with the metaphysical aspect of NE because, as an ENTP, the, the first, everybody goes like this. Your dominant function is frame, as its nature, and then within it, it has frame and process. Your second function is process as its nature, and then within it, it has frame and process. Your third function is frame as its nature, and within it, it has frame, and the, I mean, I'm sorry, it's frame as its nature, and within it, it has process, but it doesn't have frame within it. It's just a single frame with a process in it. It's not frame, frame. So the third function then is my my purpose frame. To the extent that it, you, you can think of it as being the single most important frame, the predominant frame that everything actually has to conform with, if you ignore the, the, the aquarium walls, you're saying within the aquarium, this is the most important frame. For me, that is metaphysical FE. And then the process is one of not having a way of doing the physical FE that is conscious, but rather that that the frame and process of metaphysical FE necessitate the physical one happening, but it's not really an instrumental value for me because I'm not, I guess it is, I guess it is. So, okay, yes, yeah, it is. But the thing is the metaphysical FE forms the functional, the actual display frame that I'm going to show as I go through the world, the hidden agenda, quote unquote, is it doesn't matter if my TI is inconsistent over time, as long as my application of TI over time is consistent with FE over time. It doesn't matter if my, um, if this NE thing falls apart. In other words, if my instrumental value of physical NE, if this expression of it turns out stupid, it doesn't matter as long as it doesn't impact my FE long term overall. Now, Here's the thing, but despite the fact that that's my, my top level purpose framework in terms of expression in, in life, it doesn't change the fact that itself as a frame, it is constrained by the absolute frame of the meta frame, which is the walls of the aquarium. So in other words, my FE, my metaphysical aspect of FE is channel, channel modified, channel individuated, such that it only operates in ways that are consistent with the ecosystem preserving 
uh, meta framework of the only shit, only shit consistent with potentialities goes in this aquarium. And then my last function, SI, that's So when I'm traumatized, I get out of the water. I go into dry dock. The only two ways of understanding reality for me are inside the aquarium, my most natural state of being, or if I'm seriously injured in some fashion metaphysically, then I pull out of NE to the alternative to NE. Because what is extroverted intuition? It is taking metaphysical action. It is ideation. It is either ideation untethered, the metaphysical aspect of it, or it is ideation tethered, the physical aspect of it. What is SI? SI is the um, taking of shit that's in that metaphysical action realm and turning it from live, active, to, to rendered, knowledge. So there's a period of time when you're, when you're thinking and wondering, gosh, what type am I? I don't know. It's up in the air. For me, ENTP is SI knowledge. It's not something I have to think about. It's not something that I need to warrant or justify or consider to be in dispute. It's factual knowledge that I am an ENTP. I've rendered it as SI truth so that I no longer have to use any other functions about it. It's just part of my epistemology. That's an example of how SI is for an NE DOM, the alternative to NE, not something you ever use in conjunction with NE. Now for me, I prioritize as an absolute value the physical aspect of SI, which means that I don't care if my, um, my knowledge is reliable or not, provided it doesn't interfere with me feeling good in my body and comfort and other shit like that, which is the absolute value for SI for me. And I don't really care about the schedule shit. That just serves to make sure I'm not uncomfortable. Scheduling stuff and and keeping track of things. You know, it's instrumental. So that's my conscious stack in terms of frames. And there's a order of operations in which they trump each other. So if I'm doing TI shit, I might come to a certain conclusion and then I might be show you bad FE in the moment, bad physical FE, because it's not a framework, it's just a process anyway. And I might use that FE process of physical FE in ways that are, I mean, I might, I might choose not to use that process of physical FE, instead prioritizing and, and ignoring your feelings in the moment but it doesn't matter because it get, I then have to render it some way or another as saying that what just happened here, that example of bad FE is why you should vote for good FE for Eric long term. Prefer my framework. That always happens when I have bad FE because, because every argument I make as an identity in the world is to the extent that it's a good argument for me to be making, it's consistent with metaphysical long-term FE perception management. And the reason that never runs afoul of potentialities is because that frame is shaped by and subject to and supervenes upon the aquarium walls in general, which are potentiality preserving environment. The SI physical pre preference of my, pre seeing the physical SI as an absolute value is a way of both, um, allowing myself to devote more energy to the NE metaphysical. So in other words, I don't have to keep track of SI very much because I don't care about it as an absolute thing. I only keep track of shit as I part of SI in, insofar as necessary to obtain my actual absolute SI value, which is Rai Rai, which is like feeling a bath, getting massages, lying down, sleeping when, it's, when you're tired, eating when you're hungry getting a jacket on when you're cold, shit like that. That's, that's my absolute value. So it means I have almost all of my attention when you look at that display of, of, of things is all of my function aspects are, are turned to be able to um, allow my shit to be as least tethered as possible. In other words, it's all anti-physical. 
because I prioritize physical SI as an absolute value, it's anti-physical in the expression of the identity because it enables my identity to express more on an untethered physical level. It makes sense, but it's hard to understand. It's hard to explain, too. But what I just said all makes sense. <laughs> I like that. It all makes sense. Um, yeah. Ooh. The end. Anybody else want to comment before I say the end? Um, yeah, I do. All right, please. Go for it. Um, I feel like the... I, I, I agree, but partly I want to... Man, I don't know if that's going to go into a whole new idea, but I kind of want to talk about... So I, I feel like the physical... I, I agree partly, but I feel like the physical manifest... Like, that's how I... So I agree. That's how I do end up manifesting, but I feel like the goal of it is to manifest itself in the, the shadow function. So I want everything to be singular truth. I want everything to be efficient, and I want everything to be what I value, which is autonomy. And at the end, I want to be tactically open to everything and aware so I can be comfortable in any moment and, 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 and take advantage of anything at, at all times physically. I don't know. But yeah, you can end the video. That's that's all I got. Well, I, I mean, here, here's later. the thing, Kato. It, it's not so much about what you want as how you display. So Taylor mm -hmm. is less, mm -hmm. less in his head than me. He's less he's yeah. less likely to be at any given moment thinking about, well, I wonder if maybe if we think about it in terms of an aspect with directionality, blah, blah, blah. he's less likely to be doing that in a moment when he's out in the world than I am because why? He's more attentive to what the possibilities are in his environment around him. So in other words, he's applying N E differently. We both, are, our eyes are scanning yeah. the environment searching for shit, but I'm linking it in untethered ways and he's linking it in tethered ways. Yeah. Which means it, no, I he's not going to be surprised if somebody rolls up on him. I probably will. Yeah. No, no, no I agree. I, I'm the same. I, I think I'm, I'm more tethered towards you in a way. Like, I agree. I'm more long-term. Yeah, overall, I'm, I'm more like, I'm fucking at work, but at work, I'm not fucking at work. I'm fucking over. I'm like fucking far ahead thinking of, yeah, I know. It's, I, I kind of know what you mean. I, 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 I see you as, as N E M. T I P F E M. I don't know about your S I. Okay? But the first three I see is the same as me. Namely, it is designed to to avoid causality rather than work with it. Taylor's is designed to work with causality rather than avoid it. And that's, and that's why he displays more T I. That's all I got. That's, that's good shit. That is good shit. It's good shit. It's good poo. It's good turds. And it's good you. So if you enjoyed that, go buy some yogurts, drink them down, and let's celebrate together on today, National Wisdom Day. <laughs>